Hey friends, in this video, we're gonna cover video distribution and whether or not it's the right fit for you. So we're getting a lot of questions right now about video distribution, both from our local clients and our design clients. People wanna know if they should use video distribution. One of the things that I see happening is people are confusing video distribution with video control or TV control. And they're sort of two different things. You can have video and TV control with video distribution, but you don't necessarily need video distribution to have video and TV control. I'll explain, it's not that confusing, I promise. Video distribution is just like audio distribution, except for your video content. It's for your Blu-ray players, your Apple TV, your Roku, your satellite cable receiver, Rather than having a dedicated media cabinet in every single room of the house with a TV, you centralize all those video sources into the media rack or the media closet and you distribute those video sources out to the different TVs in the house. You use your smart home system to choose the video content you want and tell it which TVs or projectors you want the video content to play out to. It's actually really cool. I'm a huge fan of video distribution. Now TV and video control is simply the ability to control your Blu-ray player, your Apple TV, your Roku, your SAT receiver, your TV. It has nothing to do with video distribution. So a lot of times clients ask us, should I buy video distribution? Well, what kind of content are you planning to watch on your TV? Are you a cord cutter? Have you stopped subscribing to cable and satellite services? Are you only going to watch streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, maybe Roku, Apple TV? Then you probably don't need video distribution. You can still control the TV. You can control those components like the Apple TV and the Roku at the TV without needing the expense of the video distribution. Now, if you're planning to use Blu-ray players and satellite cable receivers, especially if you're planning to use 4K content and you want uncompressed 4K content distributed out to the TVs and projector in your home, then video distribution is definitely something that you want to look at. One of the benefits of video distribution over the last few years is that it made it easier to hide all those big components. You know, we used to have the big VHS player and then it was a huge Blu-ray player. Now our Blu-ray players are pretty small. Our satellite and cable receivers like the Joey or the Hopper, they're very small. It's much easier to hide some of those things behind the TV than it used to be. In fact, one of the things that we're starting to see more and more common are these huge low voltage boxes that recess in the wall behind the TV. If you have a couple of devices like an Apple TV and a Roku, you can place it there in that low voltage box. And then if you're using something like a Samsung frame TV that needs to be flush against the wall, it's gonna hang on that wall literally like a picture frame. But the cool thing is you can still use your smart home to control everything inside that low voltage box behind the TV without getting into any kind of video distribution. So then again, getting back to video distribution, the question is, well, if we're not worried about hiding the components so much, why would we use video distribution? A lot of the critics and the haters are gonna tell you that video distribution is on its way out. I actually disagree. I think that video distribution is here to stay for some time. As 4K content becomes more and more available and a couple of years from from now as we start to see 8K trickle in, what we're gonna find is that video distribution is the best way to distribute uncompressed content throughout the house. And you're gonna see a lot of homeowners using video distribution so that they can maximize the video quality they're sending out to their TVs and their projector. Now here's the really cool thing, if you're on the fence and you're not sure, when you pre-wire your home, odds are you're gonna pre-wire it for video distribution whether you mean to or not. Most of the time, your cables are home run from a centralized location. It might be a low voltage panel, it might be a media room, and you're gonna home run your Cat6, your coax, out to every TV in the home and conduit and cat six out to the projector. The centralized location of all that wire is gonna make you ready for video distribution if you ever decide in the future to add it in. I'd probably recommend considering fiber, especially if you're concerned about getting the very best video quality on your TVs. But regardless, you're gonna home run all those wires back to a centralized location and it's always ready for you when you decide you want to add video distribution. In the meantime, if you only have a couple of TVs or maybe you've cut the cord and you don't think video distribution is right for you right now, you can still control all the TVs and the video sources to those TVs in the home. The one important thing to remember is that you do need an Apple TV, a Roku, a Joey, a Hopper for each TV, and you can't cast one Apple TV out to every TV in the home the way you would with video distribution. It's a one-to-one -one configuration, but you can still control it, and when you open up your app, it's gonna feel very seamless. It's gonna feel as though you had video distribution in your smart home. Hopefully that answers any questions you might have about whether or not video distribution is the right solution for you at this time. We'll have more videos coming here in the future that cover different video distribution solutions, what they cost, and how you might deploy those solutions. But for this video, I just wanted to give you a very basic answer of why you might use video distribution and to help you understand that if you don't use video distribution, you're still going to get TV and video control across the home. If you have any questions, comment below. We'd love it if you'd like, subscribe, and share this with your friends and watch for the next video.